Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Today we're looking at the week of November the 5th to the 11th, 2018. Um, and before we go into the individual star signs, we will have a look at the um, overall energy for the week to come. And um, occasionally we will highlight the, um, the Facebook page where you can find uh, this reading. Uh, please feel free to um, share it widely. <coughs> so watch that screen a little bit and um, I'm having a bit of a sore throat so I'm having a little sip lemon green tea <laughs> so we're having a look uh, at the overall energy for the week ahead which is the week of November the 5th to the 11th 2018 let's have a look <clears throat> for the coming week we have the um, energy um, of the guides um, and this week we have the energy of the lion and the snake and that just means that this is the week where you need to be kind to yourself because remember you know lions always come first don't they so the lion just stands for um for territory, making sure your space is safe and you and yours are not uh, overly burdened um, by, by anyone, really. Um, and the snake is the animal of protection. It's also known as the animal of health. Um, you probably see it when you go to, to, to a, a pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. So basically, um, be yourself this week. Be kind to yourself. Really, impo really, really important um, to practice compassion not just to others, but also to yourself, right? So be in your strengths and remember that you will be fine. You have the snake, the animal of protection. So um, this is a week where um, in many ways, <clears throat> energetically speaking, and that oftentimes comes in when, you know, I just mentioned the animals here. Um, it is a week where a lot of old issues can come up. Um, that probably are causing issues or have caused issues. We're not out of the woods yet, right? So what is needed is kindness to ourselves um, rather than being frustrated and probably starting blaming ourselves or anybody else. So bear that in mind. And now we're having a look at the um, individual star signs, starting with Scorpio. For Scorpios this week, we have the Scarab. It's really important. Uh, it's the Scarab, even though it is technically speaking a dung beetle. The Scarab is a revered uh, beetle. And um, so the message for all Scorpios is to remember to be in your kindness. And the Scarab can lie dormant, for want of a better word, for a long time before he sort of comes back to life and, and does his thing. So don't be stressed by anybody. Don't allow anybody, anyone, <clears throat> in the coming week um, to upset you in any shape or form. We have a new moon uh, coming this week as well, um, which will break open um, emotions. So there, there might be a tearful week, not just for the Scorpio, Scorpio, but for all of us. Might be a bit of a tearful week. And remember, tears are sacred medicine, so let them flow. Um, as a matter of fact, as the saying goes, all one can do when it rains is to let it rain. Um, and that's the, the same message. So for Scorpios, don't, uh, don't uh, allow people to upset you. Um, don't be worried about stuff. Uh, uh, just do your thing, right? That was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, it is important. Remember the overall energy. <clears throat> Be kind to yourself and remember that you are quite protected. Uh, so you don't have to do anything strenuous. I um, mean, you don't have to certainly prove yourself. Would not be a good week for Sagittarius at all to... Um, try to make a point for argument's sake. You have the horse <coughs> and it means that you are 
at times the beast of burden, you are at times also allowing others to put burden on you, you know, to, um, well, use you, for want of a better word. But the horse is also an animal that is about freedom. So this week, uh, November the 5th to the 11th, 2018, it is important to stay detached from things. Um, you have to learn to be happy with your company. That doesn't mean you will have to be isolated this week, but it is quite important um, to be happy uh, on one's own, if that, if that makes sense, right? So you have the, the, the symbol of freedom this week. So um, make sure that people get off your back, right? Um, and take it from there. That was Sagittarius going into Capricorn. Let's have a look at Capricorn. And sometimes I'm drawn to using one card, which means one guide, or two, you know, depends on how the guides want me to do this really. Um, for Capricorn, you have the rabbit and the kingfisher. And the kingfisher always denotes that no matter how difficult your life is, you will manage. So in other words, this week, keep going, right? Go along your path, journey your own path, do your thing. Um, and the rabbit basically says, you have no idea how deep the rabbit hole goes. Don't give up. It's not a good time uh, for um, Sagittarius uh, to give up at all. No, sorry, Capricorn. <laughs> Where am I? Um, not a good time for Capricorn to give up. Just keep on going and you will be fine. Also, remember the Kingfisher. You will manage. Really, really manage. Manage. The Kingfisher has the same message than the, the hummingbird has um, um, and the woodpecker. So there's this three animals, trinity of animals, uh, animal guides, that tell you no matter how crooked your life is, because the tree that they uh, work on represents your life, you will be fine, right? So in other words, uh, for Capricorn, there isn't all that much to worry about, um, as long as you remember not to give up. Okie dokie, going into Aquarius. Let's have a look. Aquarius, you have the Wolverine and the Turkey. Uh, in other words, you have made a lot of progress. You're actually moving quite fast out of problems, if that makes sense. Um, you have made an awful lot of um, uh, um, It's not just that you have made long strides and that you have, you know, progressed. It's for you to realize, and this, this is what just happened to me, I was just lost for words and waiting for something to come in, really, <coughs> when the message clearly is, is to just stop and don't wait for anything to come in. Just stop and do your thing because you're doing fine, right? You have the Wolverine, that means progress, you have, to make a lot, you have made a lot of effort um, to get to where you're going, and you're going there. Downside this week is that um, you have the turkey, um, which means the turkey is a, is a very uh, uh, intelligent bird, but also very misunderstood. In many ways, uh, you know, people just see this game that you can shoot kind of thing. Um, not many people look at him for who he really is, because by most people's standard, he may not be the most appealing uh, visually, right? So he never gets the credit. Uh, He's due, uh, which in itself are, are messages here. So what they're saying to you is don't pay attention to negative people and naysayers and, and all that kind of stuff. Do your own thing. You're good enough the way you are. Remember that. That's your main thing for you to remember. You are good enough the way you are and don't pay any attention to people who uh, try to convince you otherwise. Okie dokie, there was Aquarius going into Pisces. My star sign, yay. <laughs> going into Pisces. Let's have a look what we got for Pisces. Interesting. We have fish 
and cat. Individually speaking, what it really means is, you know, that that fish, when you get them out of water, the, the, the pressure actually can destroy them, you know, uh, so it's not just a lack of air. <clears throat> so what they're saying to, to, to all of Pisces is, you know, stay within the confines of what you know. Don't take on new things and people that want you to change this week need to be told to back off. Really, really important because you have the cat. Uh, which means that um, obviously you need your own space, you do your own thing, it's all good. But when you take the fish and the cat as individual animals and then put them together, <coughs> the fish would be the part where the cat then dominates uh, and even kills. So in other words, uh, us Pisces, we will, be, we will be torn between things. It's not necessarily the easiest week. That's why it's important to not necessarily make decisions and tell people that wait for a decision, want one, um, to ask them to be, be patient. Okie doke, no harm done. That was Pisces <clears throat> going into Aries, <clears throat> drawn to this deck, going into Aries. Card fails out, wants to be read, so let's do that. We have the Blue Heron and the, the Screech Owl for Aries. The Blue Heron tells you to um, not panic, things will come to you. You will see new opportunities. Don't chase opportunities this week, they will come to you, right? The Blue Heron is often depicted as, uh, you know, obviously it's a water bird standing on one leg and when, when the fish comes by, it says, thank you. <laughs> obviously, you know, life is, life is tougher than that. What, but the depiction and what it really means is for you to realize that um, opportunities, new opportunities will come to you. You don't have to go looking for them. And because you have the owl, which is all about vision, right? Just, you know, be, be yourself, um, be open, you know, see what's going on um, and opportunities will come to you. So in other words, don't be rushed this week by anyone because opportunities will come your way. That was Aries going into Taurus. And like I said, we're looking at the week of November the 5th to the 11th, 2018. And as you can see here, I love to do these episodes outdoors, <coughs> but um, somehow <laughs> the time has come to do them indoors for a while, right? I hope um, the weather proves me wrong and we can do another one outdoors soon, but I doubt it. So for now, it's going to be indoors, not going to be quite as exciting as being in nature, you know, but um, let's just do this, right? Taurus, quite interesting. Um, you have the goat, which is the um, animal guide whose message we're looking at, and then you have um, animal deities. And this is something I should probably just quickly explain. The idea is that all the guides are in their own right what we call deities. There's no, there's nothing religious about it, um, but they're deities. They are there and have been there at all times for you. In other words, you have the goat, Tauruses. You have the goat that tells you, you could hang on a cliff on two legs and not fall. In other words, you know, your life isn't over, things will not get harder, um, you will get through whatever it is you are going through right now and you have the protection of a ton of guides because when, when it says animal deities, plural, you're quite protected and your guides um, uh, are looking out for you this week. So please don't panic um, and remember to be steadfast, right? In other words, don't be unhinged when someone gives you a hard time. Um, just tell them to like, you know, um, as you should. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe less aggressive, but like I said earlier, you know, there's a pattern sometimes people need to be told off. Um, don't let them, don't let them upset you because you are going to be fine, right? Going into Gemini. Nearly there. <clears throat> Geminis have um, the bobcat, and that's another. You see, there's, there's, there are patterns here. Um, oftentimes, when you have um, cats, people sometimes 
get this wrong. They think, you know, um, guides, you, you only look at them spiritually. When in reality, you, you look at them holistically for, for who they truly are, apart from the fact that they come into you spiritually. So the bobcat being a real cat, um, finding out about what the message is, sometimes comes from observing them. Right? So what you will notice is when you look at the bobcat is that, that um, it is a quite um, elusive cat and um, to a large extent solitary. Now, you're human, you're not a cat, you don't have to be solitary, but, you know, reality is if you are in the midst of, of a lot of people, um, you won't find any real answers, oftentimes because life is too busy, right? And um, as we all know, um, myself included, you know, slowing down the mind, shutting up all the voices is quite um, <laughs> an effort, right? So all the guides are saying is you have the bobcat, Right, remove yourself a little bit. Um, you will pay attention anyway because that's part of, of the animal kingdom. They're always on the lookout for, for food and on the watch for predators. So they're always on, on in a way on guard, right? So you don't have to be on guard that much. The, the message just is to realize to not shut yourself off. That would be uh, inadvisable, right? Um, but remember that sometimes being on your own, sorting things out on your own without having to consult anyone all the time is, is quite a good idea because answers usually lie within. So remember, there's nothing wrong to look for answers. After all, these uh, readings here, these videos are done for you to, uh, for advice. So, so, you know, wouldn't discourage you, wouldn't want to discourage you from watching it. All the guides are saying is uh, don't make it a habit to always ask other people for advice because you could miss something that they would miss anyway because they're not you, right? Okie dokie, that was Gemini going into Cancer. Cancerians. Interesting week for Cancerians. You have the butterfly and the monkey. And what that really means is for Cancerians, this coming week will be the week to realize that living in the past, um, staying in the past with your, with your mind, having thoughts about um, possibly traumatic things uh, in the past, is in the end what will be your undoing almost. It's really time because you have the butterfly and the monkey in that order, not, not reversed. And the, body, uh, the, 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 the monkey um, reflects your past, because obviously we're primates, right? So the monkey stands for the past, and the butterfly tells you you're no longer a caterpillar, you're ready. And so the message is you're ready to let go of whatever it is from the past that rubs you the wrong way, that makes you feel less, that makes you feel sad. All these things are important. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's, that's Cancerian going into Leo. Here we go. Huh. Interesting. I uh, mentioned the horse earlier um, and the horse is back. So for Leos, you too um, have a week where it's important to be detached from things, where it's very important in a way um, to... Um, Sometimes it's important for Leos, you know, uh, uh, when you're in a, in a group, the Leos oftentimes stand up for others. And um, you will find loads of Leos um, that are probably, you know, um, uh, spokesperson, uh, spokespeople for something. And what the guides are saying is, while you can be all this, this is the week for you to step back a little um, and to be less evolved, uh, sorry, involved. Uh, in, in whatever is, is going on and um, that doesn't mean you, you should give it up but you need a little bit of, of freedom you need to be less burdened by what's happening right so that's that and now we're going into uh, Virgo oh two cards you have to oh three sorry three fell out <laughs> <coughs> Right? But I'm going to have um, a little sip of my tea. I will be right back with Virgo. Welcome back. 
Um, we're looking at the week of November the 2nd, uh, sorry, November the 5th to the 11th, 2018, and we're now with Virgo, so Virgo and uh, Libra are the only star signs left for this week. Um, Virgo had three animal cards, uh, so animal guides coming in, ram, elephant and seahorse. So this is a week for uh, Virgos to not spend too much time with people who are burdening you with their problems. Really, really important to have a week of me time, if that makes sense. The other thing is, is to not overthink uh, because you have the elephant, which means you will very likely go back into the memory banks of yours, you know. Reflect, reflecting on, on life is actually not a bad idea, never is, but um, overthinking and uh, sometimes reaching co uh, wrong conclusions because of it um, is dangerous uh, for, for Virgos next week. So, in other words, be in the moment. You have the seahorse, which means you also have to um, pay attention to how much space you need um, and how much me time, as I said earlier, is a week for me time because seahorses, as beautiful as they are, it is estimated that about 90% of them don't survive in captivity. So um, when you feel boxed in, um, that's the analogy, when you feel boxed in, you lose strength, right? So have a week of me time. What I'm getting very strongly <coughs> for Virgo is actually, if possible, um, take a few days off. Right? And then be in the now, but probably in a different place, <laughs> you know, enjoy the outdoors. I mean, I, I was saying earlier that now is indoor time, but, you know, don't mind me. I, I only work here. <laughs> but what I'm hearing is for you to be in nature. Really, really important. It would be much more important to be in nature than at any given job, no matter how important it is, because, you know, having some me time um, will give you um, a well-earned break. Right? That was Virgo going into the last star sign for the day, which is Libra. Libras have the Grey Wolf. And that just means um, that you are and you need to be in charge of your own destiny. You, be, you need to be in charge of whatever it is you really want. Really important to make that point this week that how you feel about things is really important. What happens in here, how you really feel is really, really important um, for you next week. That doesn't mean you have to be uh, or ought to be argumentative, but firm, right? Be in charge, be in control. And remember, the wolf is a pack animal. So they're not asking you to remove yourself. They're asking you to speak your mind, um, but not in a way that you ask for someone's permission. It's more like you tell them how you really feel and you know have the expectation that your, um, your wishes are being granted and followed. Right? That's all we have time for. I see you very soon. Bye-bye.